Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Yesterday was quite an epic one, wouldn't you agree? Well, it's going to be a little bit more of the same today in terms of preparing this MDF uh, insert for the bedroom. But uh, there's lots and lots of woodworking to do over the next few days, including lagging those large tanks. So, my thoughts are, do all the woodworking in one go, tidy up, get rid of the sawdust, and then we can continue with other projects once this mess is out of the way. So, that's what we're going to do. Honestly, the workshop looks <laughs> imagine, unimaginably tidy, folks, to be fair, considering the amount of MDF that I've just cut. So this is effectively the, uh, well, the built-in section. There is one more section that goes on the edge, but it's just rails. So it's going to come out here, another 900 mil. There's not much point putting it on because uh, that side's going to be attached to the wall. But what is worth doing at the moment is fitting everything in and dry fitting it, putting the screws in. And then we're going to take this middle section out, these three pieces, break it all down and then spray it. We can also fit these rails in there. Once that's done, uh, then I can take it down and spray the whole thing uh, white with an undercoat. So we've been and picked some undercoat and primer up. That's down there. We've got the Zinsa stuff which is pretty good but in the meantime I've just got distracted by uh, another little job that I'm going to do we've got this massive probe, 500 mil long probe for the mash tun so uh, it comes with these connectors on the end and this uh, thermometer of mine doesn't take those connectors so what I'm going to do is just desolder what we've got here and we're going to stick that bad boy in there so it's permanently attached. So now it's just the tricky case of trying to get this new cable to slot down somewhere. Uh, it doesn't want to play ball. I may have to strip it so it's a bit thinner it can slot underneath. We'll see. But I'll spare you the boredom for that part though. I've got the new probe in a glass of water. And I have both like for like thermometers at the side of each other. We seem to have approximately a 0 0.1 degree difference between the two and I don't know which is which but well they're both the same now look that is close enough for me but you can see the difference in the length of the probe there so obviously on a brew day I'm able to reach down all, all that many times more into the mash get a good probe around in there to get an accurate temperature right that's a little job that I just wanted to get out of the way that's done now I'm going to get back to more timber work well I've been cutting and sawing away folks and uh, to make these shaker style bedroom sliding doors I've got a tip for you I got this off YouTube I think the chat was called uh, essential craftsman or something like that Anyway, if you just search for shaker style sliding wardrobe doors, I'm sure it'll come up. So let me zoom in and I'll show you exactly what we do. So I've cut all the, uh, this is 6mm MDF, this is 18mm MDF, and all we're doing is putting inserts in like that to make the door actually look like it's been raised and panelled, or well, they call it a raised and filled door. So the strips that we've got here, make sure there's no dust on them or anything. We've just got some super glue and activator, 
and uh, once you've got the panels and you're happy with the size of them then it's just a case of sticking some super glue on them activator on the receiving side and line them up you've got to get it right though because once this sticks it's not coming back off of course and there we go look that's another panel in and it really does make the doors look like panels so we'll just do this end section here so this end one is just a little bit wider to give it a better look I'm just over here with a compressor just blowing any dust off the panels like I say you've got to make sure that they are they're spotless right there is the activator here comes the glue raised and filled with panels in seconds folks in seconds I think this is a real nifty trick and uh, I will be using it again and again fantastic and just look how that finishes it off you'd never know would you and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to run around all the edges with some of the uh, Zinsser seal and primer just to seal the edges of the MDF because these are obviously end grain if you like even though MDF doesn't have a grain it certainly has an end which is always going to absorb moisture so we'll be sealing them up before we go ahead and, uh, and give them a spray so if I take you outside into the brewery where we don't have half as much dust I'll show you exactly what I mean about sealing up the ends so this is the stuff again recommended by the same guy on YouTube so I'm gonna have to leave a link in the description for him because he's helped me out no end and uh, yeah well this is basically what you do you just paint the end grain with this stuff knock it back with a bit of 160 240 grit and then that is ready for an undercoat so I'll be digging the sprayer out for the undercoat and we'll be doing it with the spray gun and the compressor but to undercoat it I've gone for this Leyland Trade which is a brand of Johnson's paint I believe uh, this is their acrylic primer undercoat should be spot on for the job so we're going to give that a whirl maybe tomorrow you ready for home chance it's half past seven isn't it buddy oh mate you're sick to death of work today aren't you pal yeah well there's a couple of the doors that we've got done we'll have to stand right back to get these in shot i think they look good and uh, the only reason i've stopped it's because I've run out of glue and activator. I thought I might do actually, because that was just a little bit of stuff I had in stock. So I'm gonna go tomorrow to the, uh, the Fascia and Soffit company and uh, pick up some, some more of this. I might get a couple of tins of activator and two or three tubs of super glue. But that's it today, folks. It is getting late and I'm going to have to go home, another late one, but today's vlog is nowhere near half as long as yesterday's because we're of course really excited about the SS Brutech pots, oh yes. So before we go home, I think I'll finish on just one shot. It certainly wasn't a dream. Check it out. See you tomorrow.